hi to everyone. A very, very traditional classic recipe from Andalusia, from the south of Spain. This is gazpacho andaluz or Andalusian gazpacho. Um, I'm gonna make it step by step. It's very simple recipe to make and it's, it's amazing for these days when it's very hot and it's very sunny. This recipe I want to dedicate to Sebastian Tobiak. I hope I pronounce it properly because he's been asking me for a long time. So I hope that you enjoy the recipe and this is Chef vs Corona and we're gonna cook it together. Well, so the ingredients are ready. For the recipe, we're gonna make gazpacho. So we have some tomatoes, cucumber, red pepper, little bit of onion. We have a garlic there, some bread, water, extra virgin olive oil, white wine vinegar, salt, and sugar. Normally, I will have white bread and I will have sherry vinegar instead of the white wine vinegar but I don't have available now. So I'm, I'm gonna show you like these, the ingredients in the list, uh, they are as, as the one I like. Um, so what we're gonna do with all these things, we're gonna chop everything and we're gonna put in a suitable container and we're gonna leave it marinating for about one hour in the fridge. Well, the ingredients has been marinated for one hour in the fridge. And now what I'm going to do is just to put into the liquidizer and Blitz it and this is completely, completely smooth. And then after that, I would pass it through a chinua to remove any bits that can be there. And I'm gonna keep it in the fridge to be served whenever I want. It is very important that this, this gazpacho is being served really cold. with icing for about four minutes then I'm gonna pass through this see now this completely passed through the chinua or the or the clamber yeah or the sieve or whatever this is the point where we need to rectify of salt if you want a more intense of salt or a little bit more vinegar this is the time. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the clean film, leave it in the fridge to get it completely cold. So well now, to serve it, there is many possibilities of many ways of serving it. Even the garnish, there is so many garnishes, depends what you like or not. I'm gonna serve it in this little glass. It's very cold. I'm gonna put it a little bit there. And then, as I said, many different garnishes. I have some diced bread or diced croutons, some diced celery, some diced cucumber, but you can add whatever you want. And then at the end, I'm gonna uh, give a little touch of uh, extra virgin olive oil. I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe. Mm -hmm. 